Hello, this is Bradley Kramer from the Maths Department, and this is a very short video dealing with what uh, SPSS commands that you need to know for Lesson 5. And it's really just one, which is dealing with a QQ plot. And this is all you need to do for a QQ plot. For instance, here's a column of data. This is the, the weight of, uh, of runners, uh, distance runners, in kilograms. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and Explore. You've used Explore before back in Lesson 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the weight variable, put that in here, and then I'm going to click on for under the dependent list box, and I'm going to click on plots, and then I'm going to click on normality plots with tests. This is what you absolutely have to click to get the QQ plots, or the QQ plot that you need. Then I'm going to click on continue, and I'm going to click on OK, and then in just a moment here I will pop up the the QQ plot, which will be coming up shortly. It's running it right now. It should pop up in just a sec here, and there it is. There is, here is, where are you? There is the QQ plot. And this shows, since the points are at or close to the line, we can assume that the weight data that we have here is normally distributed. And that's it for the Lesson 5 video, the SPSS supplement dealing with, um, with QQ plots.